The following report contains some disturbing images. In one of the world's most violent cities, yet another funeral of a troubled boy who barely made it into manhood. 17-year-old Eduardo Santos Victor might have gone down as just one more barely noticed statistic in the war between Rio's military police and the city's drugs gangs. But the circumstances of his brutal death, captured on a mobile phone, are damning. After a confrontation in the Providencia favela, or shantytown, as Eduardo's body lies on the floor, a policeman places a pistol in the dead youth's hand. The gun is then fired into the air, presumably to give the impression that Eduardo was armed and had shot at police before being killed. <laughs> These police must go to jail for life to show that justice is being done, shouts a mourner. Five policemen have been arrested, but there's no faith here in a system that consistently fails them. With more than 50,000 violent deaths every year, Brazil has one of the world's highest homicide rates. And half of those who are killed are young black men. And for their families, the allegation is that many of those die at the hands of the police, executed. Whether deliberately targeted or killed in crossfire, hundreds of people are shot dead by police in Rio every year. The so-called pacification policy in the city's favelas fast unravelling. But in a rare interview, the high-profile official in charge of Rio's security denied there was a policy of shoot first, ask questions later. No, that's not true. If you look, we have figures that show the number of police killings, and those are falling. Yes, we did use to have cops who kill. Today, you can only say that in a few cases. Officials say they're fighting a war against ruthless and heavily armed drugs gangs who deliberately target and murder police officers. Earlier this week, a Rio policeman was tortured to death, his body dragged through the streets behind a horse. With less than a year to go before the Olympic Games arrive, these are not images of a city at peace with itself. Buda Davis, BBC News, Rio.